So something big just happened quietly in the world of AI, and almost no one noticed at first. While Google and OpenAI have been grabbing headlines with their flashy announcements, Microsoft just dropped a model that's making experts pause and rethink everything. It's called MAI Image One, and it's the company's first fully in-house image generator. No outside help, no OpenAI partnership, just Microsoft going solo for the first time in the visual AI race. And here's the part that shocked everyone. Even though this thing is brand new, it's already ranking among the top 10 image models on LM Arena, where human users actually vote on which AI creates the best images. That's huge for a first release. Now, what makes MAI Image 1 different isn't just the fact that it came from Microsoft. It's the philosophy behind it. The team said they didn't want AI art that looks like AI art anymore. They wanted images that feel human, real lighting, natural shadows, small imperfections that make a picture believable. Instead of training it on massive, random internet data, Microsoft built its datasets around real creative workflows used by professional artists, photographers, and designers. And the results speak for themselves. The model handles complex reflections, skin texture, metal lighting, and natural scenery with an accuracy that even surprised people inside the company. It's also lightning fast. We're talking about generating full, detailed compositions in seconds, optimized for creators who want to test ideas rapidly without waiting for slow render times. Microsoft describes this as part of their new rapid creation ecosystem, where users can sketch ideas, generate visuals, and edit them instantly using tools like Copilot and Designer. Once the testing phase is over, MAI Image One will be directly integrated into those apps, meaning millions of Windows users will have access to high-quality image generation without needing Midjourney or DALI. And that's the real story here. Microsoft isn't trying to make another AI art app. They're trying to own the creative workflow to make AI art just another button in Windows. While Microsoft is busy building its creative empire, Google is taking a completely different path. Instead of launching a brand new tool, it's transforming the one thing billions of people already use every single day, Google Search. Recently, Google rolled out its AI model called Nano Banana directly inside the search bar. The name sounds funny, but the idea behind it is serious. For years, people have been switching between tabs, jumping from Google to image generators like Midjourney or Firefly just to create one visual. Now Google wants to eliminate that extra step completely. Here's how it works. You open Google search, tap on lens, and there's a new yellow create button. That's where Nano Banana lives. From there, you can describe what you want, say a cozy cabin during sunset or a futuristic city skyline and the model instantly generates results right inside the search flow. You don't have to leave the page or switch apps. Everything happens in the same smooth interface you already use to search. What makes this different is how natural it feels. Google didn't make a big announcement or a flashy demo. They just quietly added it. But behind the scenes, this integration is massive. It means image generation is now part of search itself. It's no longer an extra feature, it's baked into how people explore information online. Nano Banana may sound small, but it's actually a highly optimized model. It's fast, lightweight, and trained to understand visual intent. That means it can edit, enhance, or completely rebuild an image while keeping details accurate, like human faces, objects, or reflections. It even uses SynthID, Google's invisible watermarking system, to mark every AI-generated picture automatically making it easy to tell what's real and what's not. The rollout began quietly in the United States and India, and for now, it only supports English. But Google plans to expand quickly, adding new languages and regions over the next few months. What's clever is Google's long game here. Instead of launching a separate AI platform, they're turning search into a universal creative hub. Billions of people already trust Google search. Now they can use it to create, not just find. It's a subtle but powerful shift that could make AI creativity as common as typing a question. And that's what makes this moment so interesting. Microsoft is trying to bring creation into its ecosystem through apps like Copilot and Designer, while Google is bringing it into the world's biggest habit, the search bar itself. Two completely different strategies, one shared goal, to make AI creativity effortless. Just when everyone thought the spotlight belonged to Microsoft and Google, 
China's ant group came out of nowhere and changed the entire conversation. The same company behind Alipay, one of the biggest fintech platforms in the world, has now stepped straight into the global AI race with something massive. They've launched a new open source model called Ling1T, and here's what's crazy about it. It's built with 1 trillion parameters. That instantly puts it in the same league as OpenAI's and Google's largest systems. But unlike them, this one is completely open source. Anyone can download it, test it, and even build on top of it. That's something we almost never see from models of this size. Now, what's special about Ling1T isn't just its scale, it's what it's designed to do. Ant Group didn't build it just for chatting or content creation. This model was trained for reasoning, coding, and deep logic, basically. Tasks that require step-by-step -step thinking instead of surface-level responses. Think of it as a mix between a mathematician, a programmer, and a philosopher, all packed inside a neural network. Early benchmarks are already impressive. Ling1T scored higher than DeepSeek on most reasoning tests and matched Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro in problem-solving accuracy. In coding and math challenges, it even beat some of the best Western models that are still closed to the public. And remember, this is coming from a company that wasn't even in the global AI spotlight a few months ago. But what makes this launch such a big deal is the message behind it. For years, Western tech giants have been criticized for locking their biggest AI models behind paid APIs. Ant Group is doing the opposite. They're saying, here, take it, build with it. By going open source at this scale, China is clearly signaling that it wants to shape the global AI ecosystem, not just compete in its own market. Developers are calling it a turning point. For the first time, a trillion parameter model is being treated as a community project, not a corporate secret. That means researchers, startups, and independent engineers can experiment with trillion-level intelligence without corporate barriers. It's the kind of openness that could spark an entirely new wave of innovation, or even force other companies to rethink how they share their tech. Ant Group says Ling1T was built for transparency, collaboration, and trust. Three things often missing in today's AI industry. And whether it stays the leader or not, it's already pushed the global conversation in a new direction. One where the smartest AI models might belong to everyone, not just a handful of billion dollar labs. And just when it seemed the AI world couldn't get any louder, Google made one more move that quietly changed everything we know about voice search. It's called speech to retrieval or S2R. And it's not just an upgrade, it's a complete rewrite of how voice assistants understand us. For more than a decade, every voice system you've ever used, Siri, Alexa, or even Google itself, followed the same pattern. You'd speak, your words would be turned into text, and then that text would be searched for results. It worked, but it was far from perfect. A single misunderstood word could send your query in the wrong direction. Say, flights to Nice, and the system thinks you said flights to mice. Google's S2R skips that fragile middle step entirely. Instead of turning speech into words, it turns your voice into meaning, a digital fingerprint of your intent. This is what researchers call an embedding, a mathematical representation of what you're actually trying to say, not just what it sounds like. That embedding is then matched directly to Google's web index, which is also mapped into meaning-based space. So rather than comparing letters and words, the system compares ideas. The result? Faster, smarter, and far more accurate answers. This change may sound technical, but its effect is massive. It means Google no longer cares how you phrase a question. It cares about what you meant. Whether your accent is thick, your grammar imperfect, or you mix languages mid-sentence, the system focuses on your intent instead of your words. In tests across 17 languages, S2R performed so well, it nearly matched human-level comprehension, even in noisy environments like cafes, traffic, or homes filled with background TV chatter. To support developers, Google also released an open dataset called Simple Voice Questions on Hugging Face, including thousands of real audio samples recorded in different accents and conditions. This data helps the broader AI community train and benchmark new systems using the same standards Google applied internally. Alongside it, Google introduced something called the Massive Sound Embedding Benchmark, or MSEB, 
designed to measure how well AI models truly understand sound. All of this signals a much bigger shift. Microsoft is mastering images, Ant Group is pushing reasoning, and Google is reinventing how humans and machines communicate. The old idea of typing or dictating commands might soon disappear completely. We're entering an age where your devices don't just hear you, they actually understand you. So whether you're creating, coding, or just asking a question, the AI revolution isn't coming. It's already here and it's happening faster than anyone expected. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI breakthroughs.